825 in Hollywood, the show must go on, as they say. Not even a pandemic could keep Tinseltown from putting on the iconic production that celebrates the art of movie making, the Oscars. The 93rd Academy Awards show is Sunday nights. So we're going to take a look now into some of the big categories. Who's likely to walk away a winner and what the show's going to look like in this age of social distancing. Join me now to break it all down is film journalist Thomas Manning. Good morning, Thomas. Hi, Derek. How are you today? Good. So this year's ceremony orig originally was supposed to happen in February. They pushed it back, of course, with the pandemic. So talk a little bit about how this year's awards is going to look different to previous years. Oh, absolutely. So in charge of the production this year, you have uh, Steven Soderbergh, Oscar winning director, as well as Stacey Scherer, Oscar nominated producer and Emmy nominated producer, Jesse Collins. And they are going to do everything they can to give this ceremony and the show that we're seeing on television a very cinematic feel and to make it feel different than in years past and just to give it a very you know special stamp. Um, that means shooting with different frame rates, composing shots differently uh, that you would see on the big screen rather than a small screen. And um, that just means doing everything they can to um, you know make it something worth remembering. Um, most of the ceremony is going to be held in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. but um, nom nominees that are unable to attend the show will be zoom basically zoomed in via satellite, and uh, there will also be basically Oscars outposts in London and Paris. So that's kind of what we're working with. It's very different than years past, but yeah. it's going to be interesting for sure. And no host again this year. Uh, movie theaters empty for the most part in this past year, and obviously that's had to have an effect on how many of the average folks have seen these films? Oh, without a doubt. Uh, when you look at the marketing for a lot of these Oscar nominees, that they have been targeted specifically for cinephiles and film fans and voters and Oscar voters. Uh, but the casual audience member, uh, they haven't had the chance to go to movie theaters and see them. And uh, those that have gone straight to video on demand and streaming have gotten lost in the shuffle uh, just because so many of them have been kind of folded around in there. And uh, I would say, you know, someone like you who isn't deeply entrenched in the culture of film, uh, you might not have even heard of some of these. And mm -hmm. uh, if, you, if you have, then I apologize for making that assumption. But uh, I would, <laughs> you know. Assume I away. We, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk. We want to get into the categories. Before I get your picks, toughest competition of all the categories. Uh, the best actress race is definitely going, going to be one to keep your eye on. Uh, throughout the four main awards ceremonies over the course of uh, you know season this year, we you had the SAG Awards, Viola Davis won. At Critics' Choice Awards, Carrie Mulligan won. At the BAFTAs, Frances McDormand won. And at the Golden Globes, Andre Day. And then you have a wild card in there, Vanessa Kirby, who, um, with the way things are going, this season, anything is possible. I wouldn't count any one of them out, and uh, I'm very intrigued to see uh, who gets their name called on Oscar's uh, night. Who, if, if, if it's your pick, who is it? Which, which of those ladies? I'm I'm riding with uh, Viola Davis right now. I, I think she has the momentum just because she did win SAG a couple weeks ago, and uh, I have a feeling that she might come out with that uh, with that Oscar. Okay, I only have a few seconds left. Hit me with your best actor then. Uh, best actor, I think Chadwick Boseman definitely has it. Uh, he's got all the momentum, and, um, you know, it's going to be a very emotional night, but uh, I'm looking forward to that. And finally, best picture. Best picture, I think Nomadland. Uh, definitely going to take that home, as well as Chloe Zhao for best director. Awesome. Thomas, uh, how can we follow you? Because I know you're, you're very active in the, in the f film community here in the Carolinas. Uh, yes, sir. So I'm with the North Carolina Film Critics Association as well, as well as with the Southeastern Film Critics Association. You can find me on Meet Me at the Movies, uh, where I co-host along with Noel Manning, and uh, on Elements of Madness, where I am a contributing writer. So. Awesome. Hey, brother, you got the voice for uh, broadcast. That is uh, for sure. Thomas, thanks for the time here this morning. Well, thanks so much for having me.